it's Noreen here with a new episode of What's for Dinner. Tonight is Good Friday, and in observance of that, not for any other reason except as my own personal tradition, we're having fish for dinner. Now I know that last week I uploaded a fish dish, but it's Good Friday, so it's a Friday night fish fry for us and our family, and I'm going to show you how I do that. Super simple. Already did the fries. They're in the oven. You can see. I fried up about eight potatoes worth. And those take a while, so I always like to do those first. That way we don't have to let the fish get soggy while we're waiting on fries to cook. And uh, yet again, I have tilapia because that's what I had in the fridge. I bought a four pound box last week when I made the tortilla crusted tilapia. And this time we have just, you know, the regular tilapia fillets. I think I have a dozen of them here. About two pounds, because it's half of the box. We're gonna use a cup and a half of cornmeal a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon each of salt and pepper, and I'm going to throw in two teaspoons of um, our Creole seasoning. And if you'll bear with me just one moment, I meant to get this out, and I didn't. Nope. I'm going to switch that, and I'm going to say that I'm going to use a teaspoon of Creole and a teaspoon of Old Bay because it is seafood after all. And basically this is an equal parts, equal parts cornmeal to equal parts flour. Let me just move my fish off to the side here. I have a big bowl and this is just... Um, Isn't that a big bowl you're always needing? <laughs> this is one of them. I have several of these plastic bowls because you know what? They may not be pretty but they're super functional and I get them at Walmart. In the summertime, Walmart always has these bowls, and sometimes at, um, at Christmas, they have them in different colors, and they're like a dollar a piece. So for me, that is the right price, especially when, you know, you use these bowls outside uh, in the summertime for the dogs or popcorn. for popcorn. And um, they're very, very useful. And if you ruin one, you don't feel bad about throwing it away. And they don't break. Okay. And I'm being very generous with the seasonings because this is a breading after all. Okay. And I have often used a seafood breader that's made by a place called House of Autry. And that's a local outfit, and I like to use that, but it's just as easy to make your own. I mean, seriously, you probably, or you should, if you're prepping properly, you should already have these two basic ingredients in your kitchen. Okay, you can see that I've layered this fish on paper towel, and we're not going to do anything more. Now I know you're going to stand there and say, that's not enough breading, but it, it really is. If you want a little more to stick to it, I'll show you what to do. You went to all the trouble of drying it, but if you want a little more of that breading to stick, run it under some water. And there you have it. Do it again. You're eating fish, you're not eating breading. And I have my cast iron Dutch oven filled with regular vegetable oil. It is preheating on the stove. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bread these, and I'll be right back, and I'll show you what we do when we're getting ready to fry them up. Hey everybody, it's Noreen here with a quick kitchen tidbit. Um, since we're doing our Friday night fish fry, of course I have to make tartar sauce. Now the last time I made a fish dish, and Rick happened to mention tartar sauce, and I said what's going to make tartar sauce because that dish didn't require it. He was a little dejected to say the least. Uh, so we're gonna have fried fish tonight 
and you gotta have tartar sauce with fried fish, at least that's my preference. But I like to make it from scratch, so I'm gonna show you how I make mine. We're gonna take some mayonnaise, good quality mayonnaise, only use the best. We're gonna use some dill pickles, and these are my home canned dill pickles, and these are spicy ones. We're gonna use some capers. Now I buy my capers in a big, um, in a big container at uh, Whole Foods, and these are just regular caper berries. And we're gonna use some onion that I have chopped. So, and some lemon juice. So let's go and I'll give you the measurements. This is really kind of uh, by feel, to be honest with you. This is kind of something that you do. Uh, you're gonna want it to be the consistency that you like. Oh, we're gonna put some fresh, some, I wish I had fresh tarragon, but I don't right now. Um, once the garden gets going good, then we'll have fresh tarragon. I do like to put that in here. And you can do some fresh or um, dried dill if you like as well. We're going to do about a cup and a half of tartar sauce. I mean, man, sorry. That's about a cup and a half there. And don't worry, uh, there will be leftovers. I just put them in a canning jar and stick them in the fridge. Now here, two tablespoons of very finely minced onion. The same of uh, dill pickle that's been finely chopped. And one tablespoon of finely chopped caper berries. I've also got in there one tablespoon of the dill pickle juice. And in that goes. And I've got half of a lemon that I have squeezed, half of a fresh lemon. And then let me get... Okay, get my tarragon. And there's my french fries that are going. And you can substitute whatever fresh herb or dried herb that you like. I'm going to put tarragon in here and then later I'm going to go find my, my dill weed because right now I can't put my hands on it. It's in the pantry somewhere. Just give this a good stir. And try not to let everything go overboard. And you're going to want to let this sit for a little while while your fish is frying so that the flavors have a chance to marry. And make sure you put this in the fridge while it's sitting. You don't want to put mayonnaise on the counter when you've got a kitchen full of hot grease because it, you do run the risk of it turning. So let's see. It's almost there. I think it needs a little more onion. How's it taste, honey? I think you're right. No more onion. I think it needs a little more onion. I think it's sour enough. I think it's got enough pickle. the dill would probably make a big difference too. I will find my dill and add it to this. Don't worry. Okay. That's it for tartar sauce. We'll be back in a little while and show you how we start frying our fish. There we go. Our fish is all done. That's what's for dinner. Let's fix you a plate. I'll give you one that just came out. And here's our extra crispy shoestring french fries that I hand cut myself. Those don't look good, do they? All right, now, what kind of a hostess would I be if I didn't give you some coleslaw? But I didn't make this from scratch today. Today I just went to KFC and bought my favorite kind of coleslaw. So, but you gotta have coleslaw with fish. And KFC coleslaw rocks. It does, it absolutely does. All right, and since I know you probably like a lot of tartar sauce. Here you go. And what what am I thinking? You know. You can easily eat that. Alright. Probably. 
Friday night fish fry. That's what's for dinner. Fried tilapia and tartar sauce along with some french fries and coleslaw. Any way you like. I hope you try this and I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, I'll see ya.